Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to take a look at the turmeric that we planted together, which was back on January 5th, and that's about seven weeks ago. We are in the latter part of February right now, so it's still pretty cold out. And turmeric is definitely a heat loving long season crop, which makes it really difficult to grow here on the east coast of Canada. But I love trying new things out in the garden and I'm also very stubborn, so I had to give it a try. And this is it, this is the tray that we planted and you can definitely see this big shoot right here. There are also many, I'm seeing at least three smaller shoots. And while these, I don't think these are ready to move yet, I'm gonna lift this one up because I really want to have a look and see what the root growth looks like. And I also have some more to start too. So as I start to fish around in this tray, uh, I do have some supplies here around me. I have some bone meal that I'm going to put in with my new soil. I have some vermiculite. I do have a little vermiculite dusted on the top here. And I also have a bigger tray with a humidity dome right here. So I'm seeing some roots, which is a good sign. If it's sprouting greenery, it likely has some roots. I'm just going to try. I'm sure it's not going to like this, but I really wanted to have a look. Oh, good. There is the new shoot with some roots coming off of the shoot itself, which is great. There's a nice set of roots right there. And there's quite a nice set of roots right there. This could, could go in its own pot, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna opt to save space and stick this gently back in. And when it gets warmer and these can start spending the day out in the greenhouse, I am gonna put them in their own pots. So that's what we have so far. We have some nice root growth and I see one, two, three, four more shoots. So seven weeks and all we have are five shoots, one good sized one and at least from what I can tell, four smaller ones. These have lived 24 seven on a heat mat just over in my dining room near the patio door, not under grow lights or anything because my grow lights downstairs is in a cooler spot and my heat mats are up here. So these are going to continue to live on the heat mats just by the patio door so that they'll, and they'll get enough light from that. There, so I've buried a couple of my shoots, but that's fine. Let's not get vermiculite in my coffee. Just gonna put a little more vermiculite over the top. And I'm not going to add any more water at this point because there's a little bit of moisture still in the soil here and that's enough. So what I've been doing to care for these is to keep them on the heat mat 24 seven and I only water it. It has the humidity dome too on constantly. So I only have to add a little bit of water every three weeks or so. Yeah, I think I've only watered it twice because that humidity dome keeps everything in and it does not want to be sopping wet. So I'm gonna put this right back on and move it out of the way. And when I got these, they looked like, see if I can find one that's not sprouting. They're all sprouting. Well, that's a good thing, I suppose. There, this one's not bad. It has a lot, six or seven, almost all of the little nodes here have sprouted, which is fantastic. But this is essentially how I bought it. I bought a bag of maybe five or six of these. And I found this at just a regular grocery store. I think I found these before Christmas and I placed them in a warm place until they started to show growth like this, at which time I planted them and another seven weeks and we only have a little bit of that growth. So these I found around the same time that I planted these. So six or seven weeks in this container um, on the same heat mat and I have some new sprouts to plant. Now I have a lot more than I did the first time. So I have a bigger tray and I have a humidity dome for that too. So I'm gonna move that over for now and we'll get this soil in here. There we go. This is just regular potting soil that I'd use for seed starting so it doesn't have any nutrition in it. So I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of bone meal and that has a little bit of nitrogen and a good amount of phosphorus. No real potassium, but that's mostly for flowers and fruit anyway, neither of which we want. 
the middle number is generally good for root growth and really that's what we want at this stage. I have a few other organic fertilizers that I can use when they start to show growth and actually that reminds me that one there is due for a feed and I'm going to give it something a little higher in nitrogen at that point and that will probably speed up that top growth. So I'm not going to give these a ton of room at this point because they're going to get potted up later on when they have a good amount of growth. So I'm just going to space them out evenly, not putting them too close to the edge because I want them to stay in the middle where they're going to stay consistently warm. The heat mats are no bigger than this tray, so they'll likely be a little cooler on the edge. That's perfect. One, two, three, 15 of them. And if I remember right, I think we put six in that tray. And didn't I say there were five shoots? That's not bad. And now that I see what the roots look like after seven weeks, I know they don't need a ton of space. So I'm only going to bury these a tiny, tiny bit because I think I am going to top this up with a little bit more soil. There, so I'm just wiggling them down a tiny little bit. And they'll end up being covered by about an inch of soil. They don't need any more than that. There is a good amount of moisture in this mix already too, so I'm just gonna give it a little light sprinkle and that is it. At this point, they don't have any roots, so they have no way of taking up moisture. There just needs to be a little bit of moisture in its environment to trigger root growth. So that's all we need to do at this point. I am so excited. We are still quite a ways away from our last frost date, which is towards the end of May. And right now it's the end of February. So we're looking at somewhere between 10 to 12 weeks. But guys, I've started so many seeds. I've started so many cool flowers. I'm starting to do onions and things and a couple of perennials, which tend to be slower growing anyway. So I'll look at doing a seedling tour soon. Everything's just germinating, so it's pretty small, but it's all looking really good. So what did I say, 15? 15 nice new turmeric plants. And I'm really excited to grow turmeric because it can be really hard to find fresh. And it said it was organic when I found it, which is great, but I don't know how far it had to travel to get here. Likely a country far away that is way hotter than it is here. There's definitely not many places, if any, in Canada that grow turmeric on a commercial scale. I know of one, and they only sell the baby fresh pink turmeric. They don't sell anything that has, um, that has matured like this and created this skin on top. You, as far as I know, you can't really get that from any local farms. So this is, I'm gonna wash that humidity dome. This is going on my heat mat. I'm gonna give this a liquid feed next time that it needs watering, which is not right now. And these are gonna live on my heat mats likely for another two to three months. And they're gonna be planted inside the greenhouse, probably around when the ranunculus comes out. So I think that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.